Welcome. Today I want to introduce you to the Media Manager feature that we recently added to October CMS. The Media Manager allows you to upload and manage files on your web server or via a content delivery network, also known as a CDN. These files can then be included as content on your website pages. By default, the Media Manager is configured to work with your local storage app media directory, and it doesn't require any other configuration. You can start using the Media Manager right after installing October CMS on your web server. Media Manager can also be configured to work with Amazon S3 and Rackspace CDN. Please refer to the documentation for details about configuring the Media Manager to work with these third-party services. You can work with your files by selecting the Media tab in the main navigation menu. To upload files, just drop them to the browser or use the Upload button. You can select multiple files with the mouse, and the keyboard arrows are supported as well. You can expand your selection by holding down the Shift key. The file list is cached to improve the performance when you work with remote CDNs. The cache is refreshed when you change the library contents automatically. You can also forcibly refresh the cache by using the Refresh button. Files can be sorted by title, size, and last modified date. Also, you can filter the file list by the document type. The document types are determined by the file extension, and they can be configured to meet your individual needs. When you select a file, you can see information about it in the sidebar. For images, video, and audio files, the sidebar also displays a preview of that file. I just, I'm bored. The public file URL is available as a link in the sidebar as well. To rename a file, click the rename icon in the file title. To move files, select them and then click move. Select the target folder and click the move button. To delete files, just select them and click delete. The Rich Editor toolbar has four new buttons that work with the Media Manager. The buttons allow you to insert links to files from your media library. You can also insert images, video files and audio files. To insert a link to a file, place the caret in the Rich Editor near the text where you want to insert the link. Then click the Insert Media Link button. Select the file you want, then click Insert. You can also create a link by highlighting text, and that will create a link based on the text that you have selected. To insert an image, click the Insert Image button and select the image. Then just click Insert. And there you can see our image has been inserted here. You can also resize and crop images before they're inserted. In the Media Manager pop-up, click the Crop and Insert button. For example, this image is too large and I want to resize it and then only insert a part of that resized image. So click the resize button and then enter the new width or height. The values are interlocked to retain the original aspect ratio. Now I can select a part of the image I want to insert and click crop and insert. To insert a video file, click insert video and then select the video file that you want to insert. On the front end, the video block will be replaced by a video player. To insert an audio file, click Insert Audio and then select the audio file. And just like the video file, the audio block will be replaced by an audio player. I just, I'm bored. By default, video and audio files are displayed with a basic HTML5 player and it uses the most basic configuration. You can extend this code or completely rewrite it by creating two special partials in the website theme. These partials are called OC Video Player and OC Audio Player. Now I'll demonstrate how you can change the video player markup. The only parameter that's passed to the partial by the CMS is called Source or SRC. This parameter contains the video file URL. 
I'll change the video player parameters to display the poster image with the poster attribute. And if we save that and have a look in the browser, you can see that the poster image is now applied to the video. And we can see that as well by viewing the page source and there's our custom markup with the poster. If you don't like the default HTML5 player, you can use this partial to output any markup for any other player. Also, there are third-party libraries that provide fallback to Flash in browsers that don't support HTML5. This topic is described in more detail in the documentation. Just like all the features in October CMS, the Media Manager is a feature that we love to use, and we hope you love it too. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.